Hello, once again, it's Asteroid Mike. I'm here with another review, and today's review will be about Marvel's latest flick, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy, it's an interesting new addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, mainly because Guardians of the Galaxy is a lesser known property. I myself only know a little bit about them, and sadly, I've never read their comics at all. As of this review, however, I now plan to because this movie was pretty damn good if I do say so myself. And not only was it good in a dramatic sense, but also extremely funny all throughout. To dig in a little bit, there's Chris Pratt's character, Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, who's this thief scavenger type of person and essentially the center of the movie. Then you have Zoe Saldana as Gamora, a green alien assassin who, strangely enough, isn't new to being an alien or in space in general, or even Assassin. You also have Drax the Destroyer, played by Dave Bautista, who kind of sort of looks like Kratos from the God of War series, how he even has similar motives to him. Also, there's Groot, voiced by Vin Diesel, who is a giant talking tree with only one line of, line of dialogue basically throughout the entire movie. And then, to round it all out, you have easily the best character in the movie, Rocket Raccoon being voiced by Bradley Cooper. A shit-talking alien raccoon effectively steals the show with some of the funniest one-liners I've seen in a while. In the movie, the basic plot is that circumstances like stealing this orb from a temple all result in all the Guardians of the Galaxy, or who are then actually just random people, coming together in a prison and trying not to kill each other in some of the most hilarious ways possible. Because the bad guy at the time, who was known as Ronan the Accuser, won't get to do it himself if they all kill each other. Ha ha. Now, what I will say about Ronan is that he looks menacing, he sounds menacing, and he is menacing as the main villain, but he's not the biggest villain here. That honor belongs to Thanos, who actually makes a real appearance about 40 minutes into the movie for the first time. Now, if you don't remember Thanos, he was teased in as a future threat at the end of the Avengers in the post credit scene. And now he's finally here, and I ex honestly was excited to see him. Shame because everyone is patiently waiting, waiting on Thanos for real, and this really isn't the moment. But anyway, I'll also add that this movie has a Star Wars-y, Star, War Star Trek-ish type of sci-fi feel to it. I mean, it's in space, you have aliens, and it takes place across the galaxy. And seeing as how I like both of those franchises equally, well, Star Wars a bit more so, I felt really at home watching this, and it reminded me that there's other dimensions out there in the Marvel Universe besides Earth, Asgard, and all those other places like a space adventure should be. And like I said, it was good in a dramatic sense. I mean, despite how many times you'll laugh, there's quite a bit of backstory and seriousness that's shown in the movie, and it never really crosses the line between the two. Actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of sad at a few points, like really sad, and it makes you just kind of want to hug the various characters a bit. Oh, okay, I'm stressing a bit. There is one real scene late in the movie when something happens, and then there's a bit of mood wet flash to like counter it, and then strange enough, it goes right back to the previous mood before that. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but if you go see the movie, you'll know it when you see it. Overall... I would personally give this movie a silver ribbon, ribbon rating. The movie was funny. It was dramatic. It's, I enjoyed it simply because it's a Marvel property. I felt the characters were believable, even though they're kind of douchey. And I'm looking forward to the inevitable sequel, because as successful as this movie is right now, there will be one. And before I go, and as always, make sure you stay after the credits for the post credit scene. Um, I'm not going to spoil that either, but I will just say that older folks will definitely get that reference when they see the scene. So, look out for it. Well, that pretty much wraps this one up. So, if you agree, disagree, tell me how you feel. Uh, leave a comment below, and I'll see you later.